this house of the 11th parliament, this house resolved that government comes up with a comprehensive documented taxation policy. And uh, right honorable speaker, as per rule 220 of our rules of procedure, the executive has to come with the action taken on the resolutions of parliament. Since the first session, we have not heard anything from the executive. Right honorable speaker, this August House has been tirelessly working on the issues of taxation. In the motion that was moved here, we had issues to address like a deepening and widening the tax base. Right now, right honorable speaker, if every tax to be introduced, for example, taxing in weight and others, is to be put on the same traders, we shall not help the economy from getting money. Right, Honorable Speaker, uh, in my communication with one of the taxpayers, uh, traders downtown, who are my friends, um, they informed me another reason for their demonstration. Right, Honorable Speaker, the properties of those people downtown are being taken by money lenders. And this house has been receiving, debating the state of the nation address, year in, year out. And one of the strategic bottlenecks, the high cost of credit, the turnaround time with the, in the commercial banks, all those problems which force traders to go to money lenders and get money. Even at 120% interest rate a year. Right, Honorable Speaker, I want to request this House that let the executive come up with the progress of the taxation policy because it solves all the problems these support traders are talking about too. Right, Honorable Speaker, I would request that this House, since we are undergoing the budgeting process, let us consider capitalizing public banks so that they can have enough money, so that they can have the capacity of controlling the market, the banking market. Right Honorable Speaker, in the region, in East Africa, Tanzania, public banks are leading the market by 27%. Kenya, public banks are leading the market by 21%. Here in Uganda, public banks are leading the market by only 7%. How are we going to control the interest rate? Bank of Uganda has done its work. It has cut the interest rate to, even when it cut to 6%, the interest rate remained at, of, of uh, commercial banks, remained at 18%. Now it's at 22 And getting a loan, you have to spend three years, I mean three months, processing a loan. This forces traders to go to money lenders at 120%. Right, Honorable Speaker, I beg that we consider all these issues with the uh, to stakeholders to have the, I beg Thank to submit. You. Thank you. Can I hear from